day third. <clears throat> We're out here with the uh, Relic Posse, Fox Valley. Oh, hold on, I just got a message. Fox Valley Ghost Hunters, you can't see that. LOC on the book. Everybody's got their rigs, they're planning their takeoff. So don't forget to check out this. I was showing the back of your blouse. Oh. <laughs> so we got New York, Wisconsin, Ohio, Alabama, and Mississippi all rolled up into six. He was intelligently answering our specific questions. You got that last night on Facebook, but the person kept sending you the same picture. Oh yeah, it was Chris. He sent me 20 pictures last night. Here's his, here's his picture. This is all last night that kept popping in. No, I did not send that. So we're heading back out. This is yeah. where. Yeah, there are. <laughs> there. <laughs> the ghost radio thingy. Uh, said that there was a. Said that his name was Ed from the 9th Infantry, Minnesota, Missouri. Can't remember which one. And uh, he said, "Dig." Good chance I'm not digging a grave. <clears throat> but we're not sure that's what it is. So we're gonna try that again. Oh no no, she's gonna it's gonna tell her where to go. And then we're gonna metal detect. But they just ask it where do we go? What do we do? And then that the little radio thing. Is an old like a transistor a radio shack transistor radio and it scans all these multiple channels and picks out the word that, that bleep that blurts out the most and that's what they do they did it yesterday and he said it's saying it was saying dig right here so they uh they said hey this thing says dig right here and they went over there and dug and dug a shotgun shell so Believe it or not. So I went ahead and got my detector so I could do what I do worst. And you gotta kinda run through the the, uh, the cotton stalks. Look how big they are. They're like little bushes. So anyway, there's a ghost hunters. Mike's way down there. We're way back there. I gotta find a bullet. They're waving me over. I had a thought. So, so often I ought to replace that slot with what I once bought because somebody stole my car radio. So I'm wondering if I get a piece of this cotton to drown out the one. I'm coming. A lot of wind noise. Let us know where to go. North or south? Which direction do we need to go? So we went off through the field, followed the ghost hunters, and the ghost box said Chris. So <laughs> I went to Chris and followed him, and sure enough, dug a bullet, although it was modern. So now we're just waiting to head in here. So I'm going back in. They're talking to the ghost box. And I want to hear it.
just him and I were trying to record. Yeah. And it just all drained right away. Yeah, now it's back to half battery, three quarter battery. Uh, it's not normal. Who's over here? Can you ask him if he shut my camera off? What's up? Did you shut off his camera? Eight again. Eight feet? Eight feet, eight inches, eight. I wonder if there's an eighth infantry with there. There was. There was an eighth and there was a ninth. There was an eighth also. Were you part of the eighth infantry? Because I'm a sign. Oh, really? Nope, I thought it was good. Were you with the ninth? Ninth Minnesota? Ed, where are you? Can you tell us what happened to you? Did you get killed out here? You get murdered. You want to hold it? Maybe Ed likes you. You never know. So I'm about to start it typing again, but the ghost box is pretty fascinating to me. I'm not 100% sure I believe it, but the honking horn in the previous video so far has been unexplainable. But I know this, it, the Fox Valley ghost hunters are uh, really nice people. So if you're in Wisconsin, Jilly, check them out. So Ed has tuned us out. Ed the ghost, if he's still here. So I may go back out there and dig a hole. I'm back out in the field with the wind. I got a 40 right here. What I'm wondering is if I take this cotton in the wind, and I think I've already tried this a minute ago, and put it over the microphone, which are here, here, and here. I don't know where the microphones are on this little GoPro. Let's pretend like we knew that it was, I think there's one in the bottom and one on the top. Does that sound any different than this? Okay, that really doesn't matter right now. What matters is finding this 40 in here. Busting the pod, busting a pod. There it is. What's amazing that there is anything on earth that you can come out here and find that and then all the more be able to harvest it. And I don't know what that is. Some sort of clip or something. So he's found so far, yeah. There's one on there, isn't it? <laughs> New spot. Got out of the cotton field. 63 on top. I figured if I was a Civil War soldier, I would sit where this tree wasn't before. That's pretty shallow to be a Civil War bullet, but you can only hope so. There's a head stamp. Pretty crusted. So he thinks he just dug another Civil War bull. Alright, I think it's possible. This one came up as a 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely fire. Looks like it just slipped and bumped a tree. Look at that. <laughs> good job, man. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. It's two for you, none for me. <laughs> it's crazy. I got a 62 to 72. It's probably going to be a can again, but. signal gets better the deeper I get but it is still pretty deep it was a nail forty five to fifty nickel pull tab head stamp or gold ring we'll go with head stamp Sharpest. Another 40s, another head stamp. Let's test my theory. Hmm. I really want to clean these up and see if they're a new club or older, which are some of the oldest head stamps you can find from the 1800s, but we'll have to do that later. Another solid 55, 56 on top. So, most likely. That is a piece of lead. That was a bullet. That counts. There's a bottom of it. So that's awesome. Finally. You definitely shall harvest. I'm walking up this little trench. I got a 61. I mean, it's 67 to 72 right here. Oh man, is that a piece of metal? No. Good. So, let's capture it. First thing we gotta do is get my phone ready. And as I have forgotten to tell y'all multiple times, I've been making reels on Facebook for you to enjoy. So 68 to 72. Absolutely has to be a Civil War bullet. It's just too perfect to the sound. Look at this big hunk of metal right there. Nope, oh, it's a piece of aluminum. Ah, that's a bummer. I got a really deep 80s right there. So, maybe another piece of tin or aluminum or Eighty-one, eighty-two. So it's either a can that 
metal circle right there. It is a piece of fence. No, it's copper. I dug a large piece of copper over there a minute ago, so that's just another piece. So I come back with my one smashed bullet and he's found a knife. Oh, nice. Bakelite, ain't it? I think that old colored plastic and all that stuff is called Bakelite. Man, that's cool. That's retro. Good job.